this opportunity to uh, address the court. Uh, last week I tried to address the court. I filled out the paperwork and was not allowed to. Uh, there needs to be some clarification on that as far as uh, what Ruby talked about earlier. I think that's something that really needs to be addressed by the court. It says on the bottom, on the paper that you fill out, that uh, it says if you're speaking on non-agenda items, what, uh, what items would you like to be uh, re requested to be on the agenda? So you're asking for it to be on the agenda when you fill that out. So that should be pretty clear that whenever you fill it out, that's what you're what you're talking about. Uh, that's one of the uh, that's one of the things. The second thing is the signs on on the door, the 30 out six and 30 out seven signs. Because it was voted on and on the advice of the sheriff, doesn't make it legal. That doesn't change the law. Uh, but my but what I, that's already been talked about. But what hasn't been talked about is the fact that there have been uh, been. Uh, complaints filed from the state of Texas on the ones on this building, on the courthouse, and the Cotton Belt building that I know of for sure. Uh, they, according to the law, that's going to be a $10,000 per day per building fine if it's kept like it is. The third thing that I wanted to talk about is the uh, war ground that's going on in the county, which is which uh, violates the Constitution. Uh, Texas Bill of Rights, Section 18, very clear, says imprisonment for death. No person shall ever be imprisoned for death. To me, that's very clear. Attaching a warrant to it does not change the law. It still says you may not be in prison for debt. And I realize Smith County is not the only county doing this, but that doesn't make it legal. And, and the state laws and the, and the local laws that say that you can do that do not supersede the Constitution. The Constitution says no person shall ever be in prison for debt. That's very clear. Now, I realize it's probably the Sheriff's Department that makes that decision in the end. However, the Commissioner's Court does have some sway over the, the uh, Sheriff's Department since they do decide how the funding